Our next lesson is over our standard H4, explain the significant factors that affected westward expansion in Georgia between 1789 and 1840. Element E, analyze how key people, John Ross, John Marshall, and Andrew Jackson, and events, Dahlonega Gold Rush and Worcester versus Georgia, led to the removal of the Cherokees from Georgia known as the Trail of Tears. Our learning target, I will note the key people and the key events that led to the removal of the Cherokees into the Trail of Tears. The removal of the Cherokees. In 1791, the U.S. signed a treaty saying the Cherokee Nation was independent and they have their own government. So essentially saying that the Cherokees would be their own government. The U.S. government would not interfere with their way of life. In 1828, Georgia lawmakers reversed that agreement and said that the state laws were now in effect in Cherokee lands. So they went back on what they said in 1791, and now the U.S. government has rule over the Cherokee land. Gold was discovered in Dahlonega, a Cherokee territory. Thousands of people came to search. Pressure was now on for the Cherokees to give up their land. In 1830, Congress passed the Indian Removal Act. It stated all Indians east of the Mississippi River must leave and move west. So essentially, they said all the Indians that were in Georgia, what we now know as Tennessee, South Carolina, Alabama, they all had to move on the other side of the Mississippi River. Cherokee Nation went to court. Cherokee Chief John Ross, yes, we are talking about the same John Ross that Rossville is named after. So Chief Cherokee Chief John Ross, he argued for the Cherokees before the Supreme Court. Supreme Court Chief Justice, keep in mind, Chief Justice is like, a justice is like a high judge. The Chief Justice is the highest judge. Okay, so the Chief Justice John Marshall ruled in favor of the Cherokees in Worcester versus Georgia. Marshall ruled that Georgia laws were not valid in the Cherokee lands. So Chief Justice John Marshall said that the Cherokees could stay in their land. President Andrew Jackson thought different. He ignored the ruling and ordered the Indians removed, starting the Trail of Tears, which forced the Cherokees to march across the southeast to Oklahoma. On the next slides, please stop your video, click on the links, and fill in your digital notebook. Please use these links to go to the website and read. You must read to find the answers.